Let's go. Good morning, I'm here. New year, new resolution to bring you more Kipper reads. And we are going to be doing them in different situations too, so that you can apply them to how you want to apply them. Not everybody is uh, an MC spread person and not everybody will want to dig down into a GT. Not everybody will want to look at our daily life. They will want to look on an emotional level, if you like. So let's start. We are going to do our astro reads. My lovely friend Ruth is going to give me an astro update for every zodiac sign starting this month, January. And I'm going to pull the Kipper cards, I'm going to apply them to that astro um, theme. So we're actually not just learning how to, how our month's going to be, we're also learning how to apply the Kipper cards to a specific theme. So this video is going to cover Aries, Taurus and Gemini, the lovely Geminis. We are the chatters of the zodiac and I'm going to do that now. So we'll start with Aries. The month of January for Aries, take brave bold steps and grab that career opportunity. I'm now going to see how that applies to our male and how that applies to our female Aries. So male Aries for January. So our male Aries, it looks like, remember the overall take brave and bold steps in that career opportunity. We see that you um, are going through a process in January. You are bringing everything together, perhaps putting your CV together for a new job opportunity. You are feeling like this is it. This is the time I can do this. But those silly Aries thoughts are saying, ah, but what if I get bad news? The way you will act going forward or the best way to act going forward in January is to focus on social, the social aspect of your capabilities. So if you are sitting down and doing your CV, you will be focusing on uh, what you have brought to the table so far in a team atmosphere. So now we're going to move on to the ladies and the ladies Aries in the same theme for January. I'm all fingers and thumbs today. Our ladies Aries looks quite different from the gentleman. The uh, ladies Aries is feeling like something's missing, feeling that there has been something missing in their career. They feel that they are ready to move on. They feel that they have the experience to move on um, and they will take that experience with them and their mind is on the job at hand. They will show their best qualities. So for Aries ladies, you should be showing your best qualities and for the Aries male, you should be focusing on what you bring to the team. Nice. Let's see if I can get this back on. There we go. Leave our lady. And now we're going to do Taurus. Taurus, let the mind stretching begin and sign up for that new course or qualification. So Taurus looks like it's about a learning month for you and how you can better yourself. So let's have a look for male Taurus and female Taurus in January 18. So the male Taurus is all about his um, experience. He feels that he wants to better himself. He wants to gain more experience in uh, January. He may be feeling a little bit carefree in the past and that he hasn't really focused on um, bringing out the best of his uh, experience to date. He may also be thinking he's in the wrong place here in January. He is um, not sure which direction on the educational path he should go, but he does want to better himself. The um, advice moving forward is in January is to 
um, focus on what you are comfortable with. So look at your comfort zone and see how you can expand that. So perhaps not going in a new direction, but sticking to something that you know and expanding on that. A lovely lady Taurus, Taurus. My sister is Taurus. Jens is um, our male Taurus. So my sister, Taurus, sorry, Taurus in general for 2018, January. So another very different picture for our Taurus lady. We do have a gift falling in the same position as we did for Aries. So showing the uh, positiveness and our best qualities. We have our Taurus lady planning. She is a planner. She's wanting to get um, all those possible directions into one place, one ball and work on that further. Her thoughts are on bettering herself and becoming the best lady that she can be. And behind her are her decisions in an inauspicious placement. So Taurus ladies, you need to start making decisions. Perhaps this planning is taking too long. And um, yes, you want to become the best lady that you could possibly be, but it's time to put it into action and stop fumbling around on the decisions. Make your decisions, what you want to learn and how you want to move forward. So the lovely Gemini's, that be me, Gemini. Okay, so we'll do Gemini male, Gemini female. We'll do Gemini male first for January 2018. The overview is don't be afraid to be selfish this month as people will be pushing the wrong buttons. Oh my, let's see what that means. So for our Gemini male, January 2018, remember? Lovely, how great what? Oh, some lovely cards. Love, oh, and a gift again falling in the um, auspicious placement. So our Gemini males, um, people may be pushing at the wrong button, but our Gemini males know what they want. They know where they're heading in life in January and they are all about fulfilling their own wishes. So if we say don't be selfish, they might get this in the bag and stick to what they, um, what their goals are. Behind their back, we have good for, good outcome. It's a lovely, super positive card behind their back. They know they're in the right place. In thought process, we have prison. So they will be blocking out anything, any, um, any of this, um, don't be afraid to be selfish this month. People pushing at the wrong button, Gemini males, shut it down. You're not interested, just shut it down, do your thing, be open to everybody and um, don't push anything down. You're quite happy over the month of January by the looks of it. Let's look at Gemini females and see what I have in store. So Gemini females for January. Let's see. Ooh, expectation, home behind us and good lady in thought process like our Taurus had. Ooh, fatalish, straightforward. I see. I see what I will be doing now. So remember the theme is that people could be pushing at the wrong button in January for you Geminis and me Geminis. We have expectation below us. It kind of shows that we have a level of patience for these wrong buttons being pressed. However, we have good lady above us in our thoughts. We always try to be respectful. We always try to be our best lady and not have um, negative thoughts when people are prodding our buttons. We remain stable, which is house behind us. We try to regroup and keep, I won't use the word, but try to keep our stuff intact so that we're, um, on a nice even level, but straightforward, we're gonna block it. We are going to put an end to any of that pushing. So no matter what we look like behind, over, above, 
out to the general public and out to everybody else, we will cut it off. We will stop it. We will not let it go any further than it should. All right, Geminis, we can do this. I hope you enjoyed that. I am going to have so much fun doing this with you. This takes me back to the old fashioned card reading where you wham, 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 throw it on the table, very popular in Germany. Throw them down, tell the story, end. So, and the next video I'll be doing Leo, Virgo and Libra. So I will also share if I have any of those in my family. Thank you guys.